I'm going to show you how to make an auto bounce picture. Very unique effect. First I open the picture in Photoshop. Next I've got to unlock my picture. Next thing I'm going to do is create a new layer by clicking on the new layer button right here. I'm going to drag it down below. This is going to be a background. I don't want to see this right now, so I'm going to hit the eyeball button so I don't see it. Then I want to do a gradient tool for the background. I think blue would be a real nice color just because we're in the ocean, we're on the cruise, we're in the ocean. So that's the one color. Then we click the background button. We'll go a little, maybe a little darker blue for that. Okay. I'm going to do a gradient tool. Just kind of like so. Uh, we'll try it like that. Maybe like that. Okay, that's a gradient. That looks pretty good. So that's my background. I'm going to turn them back on. And the next thing I'm going to want to do is cut them out or cut part of them out and make it look like they're coming out of the picture onto a piece of paper, which is kind of a really amazing effect. What I'm going to do now is get my selection marquee. I'm going to make a selection. I don't want that. Selection marquee. Make a selection. Then I'm going to go select, transform the selection just to give it kind of a 3D effect. I'm going to right click on the inside of the selection, perspective. Just to kind of, uh, this will end up being kind of a unique 3D effect. I double click on the inside, the selection is made. Next thing I'm going to want to do is click back on the selection with the, with a, my son and his wife. And then I want to make a layer mask. Click on the layer mask button. Suddenly their heads disappeared. What happened? This is actually going to be the base of the picture. We're going to have to add a layer or duplicate this layer so you can hit Control J on a PC. Yeah, control J. I'm on there now. I click on there. Control J. I made a duplicate layer. Now I'm going to go back on this layer mask. I'm going to highlight it, right click on it, and then delete layer mask. Now it's time to make the selection. I'm going to use the quick select tool. It makes it, it does a really good job. It's pretty simple, pretty fast. I blow them up a little bit and uh, I'm going to start making the selection. And rather than have you wait while I'm doing it, I'm just going to make the selection first. I'll continue on making the selection. Just them. I don't want the bench with them, but I'll delete it as time goes on. If I hit the Alt button, I can delete, but I'm going to just take a little time to do this and I'm going to pause it while I'm working on the selection. All right, I've got things pretty well selected where I want them. And I'm going to uh, just click on the Add Layer Mask and watch what's going to happen. Neat, they're suddenly there. Cut out, of, cut out of the picture. We'll add a few more neat effects now. Now I'm going to make a new layer. Click on the New Layer button. Then we are making. Now I've got to hit the control key when I go onto this control and click and that just shows the selection once again. And I click back on layer number two. And I go edit, stroke, I'm going to go 40 pixels, go with a white color and that's going to simulate the picture frame around there. Okay. It simulates a picture frame. I'm going to hit control H to hide the marching ants. But you see the frame is in front of them. All I've got to do is drag this layer down one layer, one level. Now the frame is behind them, so they're sticking out. Now you want to guy you want to add get these three layers and hold the shift key and click on all three layers. Merge layers. Now you go edit, 
transform and warp and that's going to give you the uh, effect control Z again I, I want to get the whole frame not just part of it shift control Z so I get back to the uh, edit I gotta get this escape edit I'm going to the, go to history palette again layer order and then layers okay I'm gonna hit the command key now with the control key so I get the simulated picture frame area I want. Now I click in the top layer and go edit stroke. I want to be sure it's on the inside. Before I had in the center I had issues. It's got to be on the inside. Hit OK. Now I got that finished. I'm going to hit Control H to hide the marching ants you can see this things over them which doesn't look it looks okay but it's gonna look better if I drag it down below them on the layer now falls behind them so they're actually popping out of the picture frame that's the really cool effect now I'm gonna control click all three layers this layer this layer shift click click then I wanna go merge layers now I wanna go edit transform and warp. I'm going to curl these corners up just to give it a neat effect. Just adds more of a 3D effect to the picture and then hit enter. That's done. Then I'm going to add another layer. Click on this button, add another layer. I'm going to, I'm going to actually make a, a straight line across the bottom. It looks like a shadow just to give it a better effect. So I click the brush tool brush to come on brush tool first of all I want to get brush like that brush tools there I want to get in the top layer brush tool and then I hit my shift key to make it straight Ooh, yeah that's right control Z to undo it hold down the shift key to make a straight line brush tool I hold the shift T to keep it straight draw a line underneath there simulated shadow I'm gonna move the shadow up just a hair with my move tool then I'm gonna hit the opacity down on the shadow so it looks a little more realistic and then I'm gonna hit flatten image and we're all done. That's the finished product. Turned out pretty nice. Unique them coming out of the picture. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.